Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 79, Deploy to DigitalOcean, Moving to a New Server. So I actually had to move my courseware to a new droplet because it was on a very old droplet and DigitalOcean suggested that I make a new droplet and move it there. If you download this presentation, it's going to include all of the steps to set up a server including using RVM, which I actually used in my AWS series and not the original DigitalOcean series. Uh, but RVM has worked out better for me in the long run, so I do recommend that. This Ruby snack skips all that setup and we're only gonna deal with moving the data and the information over from the old server to the new server. So yes, we're starting at step 20. We're going to move everything over. First of all, you need to put your app into maintenance mode and I would check out the gem Turnout. Actually, I made the mistake of not putting this in before and all my new code for the app had actually updated to uh, a new version of Ruby. So it was gonna be really hard to turn back. So I'm not gonna show you the gem Turnout today, but it looks pretty easy to do. So I do recommend that. I instead just did what I could to move quickly so that uh, the database would not be different and I think I did okay. So the next step is indeed to move your data. So you go to the old server and you run PG dump, the database name, and then whatever you want to call that backup. And then I actually just moved it to my local and then back to the new server. If you were going to move things, you know, long term from an old server, you're going to keep it around, then maybe you would want to set up some keys. But I've thought, eh, this is just a one time deal. I'm going to destroy that droplet when I'm done with it. So I just took it to my local SCP and then I moved it to the new server with SCP. Then I go into my new server and I run PSQL database name and then the backup, whatever we named it. All right, so here's just a little bit of a view of what I did here. It's running and I, you see I'm, I have it there um, and then I'm moving it from deploy at the old server onto my local. And it takes just a minute, especially, you know, however big your database is. And then I'm moving it from my local up to the new server. And again, it takes just a moment, depending on how big your file is. And now I'm going into the new server and you see that it's there. And then I ran the uh, PG restore command. Now it gave me a whole lot of errors, but I think that was just because I had deployed and the database was there. So it's giving me errors saying, hey, you asked me to build this database, but it's already there. Uh, but I did go ahead and check and all the data looks to be the same. I went, basically I used a console to make sure that the count of the different records was the same and I felt pretty good that it was fine. So I ignored all of these errors. Now you may have other stuff you need to move over. My main thing was the database, but if you have cron jobs that you've set up, you need to look through those and make sure those are gonna run now on your new server. I'm using Whenever to manage that, so that was actually really easy because the information was in my app instead of uh, on the server. If you have attachments saved to your old server and you're not using um, AWS S3, then you do need to do the same thing or you're gonna SCP over to your local and then over or maybe if you have all that it might be worth setting up some keys so the two servers can talk to each other and make that transfer directly. I did have to move my SSL certificate. I ended up just rekeying it. I felt like that was safer and less troublesome. So uh, I went ahead and followed the Ruby Snack 54 to set it up on the new server and then I just had to change the config when I moved that. Speaking of, we now need to configure Apache. So I basically copied the config from the old server and there's not really good copy paste method with Nano. So I brought that file into my local and then I changed what I needed to for the SSL certificate. And then I'm gonna paste it into the Nano in the, in the terminal. Pasting worked out just fine. So then you'll SSH into the production server and you'll create that new configuration file and then you'll copy in the config. So here I am bringing the file onto my local. Now it wasn't really able to then move it back up and that's why I'm copy pasting. I did try it out, but uh, the sudo doesn't work to quite well in that case. So pasting was a lot faster and here it all is just to make sure it's all there and you control X and Y and it's saved. 
So now you need to enable the site. We disable the default site because it's a new server, the default will be on. You're going to enable that site name and then you're gonna restart your Apache server. So here we are, sorry about the background. I forgot to minimize my presentation, but here we are. We're, now I ran config test and it said, hey, um, you know, we don't have SSL enabled. So I enabled that uh, and then it's okay. Uh, so I do recommend running config test uh, just to be sure, and there it is. The final step then is to edit your DNS. So you log into your provider, for example, GoDaddy, go ahead and change that IP address to the IP of the new server, and then you're done. You uh, maybe set it to refresh a little sooner than an hour, and then you go and check it out, and it worked great. That is it for this short Ruby snack. I hope you go ahead and download the entire presentation because it was very useful for me to put everything back into one place as opposed to having it in a couple of a different Ruby snack presentations. So the link will be in the show notes if you're on YouTube. And if you're on the page, then you just need to fill in your email address and I will send it to you. And if you're on the site and you want to subscribe to YouTube, go ahead and head on over to YouTube to subscribe. I do some live coding from time to time and you'll get notices about that if you subscribe. And you'll get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.